Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kimminger Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got the uh, a new book by Osprey Publishing uh, from Stephen J. Zaloga. This is T-64 Battle Tank, the Cold War's Most Secret Tank, illustrated by Ian Palmer. Um, this book is part of their new Vanguard series. This is number 223. Um, the book itself is about 50 pages, 48 pages, including the index. And in the United States, it lists price about $18. In the UK, about £10. And in Canada, $21.50. Um, on the back, you know, you've got uh, T-64 was the most revolutionary tank design of the Cold War, designed to provide the firepower and armor protection of a heavy tank in a medium weight design. It pioneered a host of new technologies, including laminate armor, stereoscopic tank rangefinders, opposed piston engines, smoothbore tank guns with discarding saber ammunition, and gun-fired guided missile guided projectiles. Um, full color artwork, illustrations, unrivaled detail, and cutaway artwork. Now, this is by Stephen J. Zaloga, which um, Steve Zaloga, as most of us know him by, and uh, he's a modeler and historian. Um, I'll read his little bio because I've been doing that in the last couple of ones. But Stephen J. Zaloga received a his BA, uh, Bachelor's of Arts degree in History from Union College and his Master's from Columbia University. He has worked as an analyst in the aerospace industry for over two decades, I did not know that, covering missile systems and the international arms trade, and has served with the Institute of Defense uh, Analyses, a federal think tank. He is the author of numerous books on military technology and military history with an accent on the US Army in World War II, as well as Russia and the former Soviet Union. And the illustrator, Ian Palmer, is obviously a well-respected uh, digital artist, a graduate in 3D design, and currently works as arts director for a leading UK games developer. He has illustrated books for Osprey for more than a decade. I wonder what game developer that is. I'd be curious to know. All right, so contents. Um, I play a lot of PC games. Uh, the, the We've got introduction. Uh, NST, new medium tank, refining the... The design, OBEC 432, the rocket tank distraction. T64 initial production, T64 tank, OBEC 434. I guess that's object, obviously, for in Russian. Not sure why they didn't just put object. I, I love when they mix the, you know, I know tank in Russian is tank, but it's like they mix the words, the is obviously not the. Um, the uh, 64B Sansa missile tank. The T-64 follow-on, the T-74 PST, T-64, T-64 command tanks, T-64 derivatives, T-64 glossary, final traces of the T-64, Soviet Army T-64 development, Ukrainian modernization, T-64 combat history, the T-64 in retrospect, at further reading and index. That is a lot of contents. But, you know, knowing Steve, he's been thorough. Uh, so, the Cold War's most secret tank. So, here's the introduction. Obviously, there are going to be some color photos, some black and white photos, period photos, uh, as well as some illustrations, which we'll get to here. But, um, you know, a lot of text, a lot of detail. Uh, object 432, um, which I believe they just actually brought this into World of Tanks, I want to say, as some kind of clan premium giveaway thing. Uh, I'm not sure about that 100%, but yeah. Um, so, lots of illustra in interesting illustrations top down uh, as well. Uh, and basically going through, you know, the prototypes, obviously, before the T-64 and then the T-64 itself. With, again, illustrations, uh, lots of period photos, a cutaway there. Uh, so, basically gives you an idea, just kind of flipping through, you know, what to expect. Uh, if the introduction or the table of contents didn't already. Wow, nice interesting camouflage there. I suppose that's for air, uh, negative air kind of uh, uh, camo. Negative air as in like being spotted from the air. Um, some of the comparison there with the M60 A3 size wise with the T64B and, uh, and concluding. So anyways, uh, you know, small book, only uh, 50 pages, 48 pages with the, with the index as, as I said, but certainly for um, this kind of niche um, Soviet tank, uh, a worthwhile addition to most of our libraries, especially if you're interested in Soviet armor. So take a look for it. It's just out now. Uh, well, thanks again to Osprey for sending us this review copy, and uh, we'll see you next time on Turning the Page.